Hi, my name is Hannah Puma. I am 17 years old and I'm a senior in high school. And I started Girls on the Run when I was nine years old. I did Girls on the Run for five years and I met a lot of really, really great people through the program. I met one of my best friends um, for the next like three or four years whose name is Brooke. She was so sweet and so encouraging and I never would have grown into the person that I am without having known her or met her. Um, my favorite memory from Girls on the Run is that when I started the program, they started to do sh like sessions in the winter. So I remember that my first 5K was in November and it was freezing, so cold. It was snowing and I was wearing a, like a winter jacket. Like I was wearing my, my full on parka winter coat. And it was so, so cold and I remember specifically that it was so cold and as we started running and as we were kind of getting into the swing of things I remember like taking off my coat and as like a nine-year-old I was like wow I've never worked so hard that I have to take off my coat because I'm warm I'm so warm and it's like so cold I can't even like it was snowing it was 32 degrees out so freezing and I I never worked so hard before and I remember taking it off and thinking like wow this is while running and tying it around my waist thinking wow this is I've never been a part of anything like this and it was mind-blowing for me to be able to be strong enough to do a 5k at nine years old and um I just loved that that was one of my favorite things that I've ever done um Something that I like about my coach, liked about my coaches was that they were so encouraging. I had a slew of them, but they were all so encouraging without a doubt, every one of them. And I remember specifically, there was, I'm not a very good runner. Um, I like to run, but I'm not very good at it. So we were running and I was huffing and puffing and I was like, <sighs> so tired. And I remember my coach came up to me and was like, Hey, you're you're gonna be okay. You can make it. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I can. It's so, like I remember doing that. And she was like, Oh no, you can do it. I'll run with you. And I was like, What? You're gonna run with me? You're like an old lady. And she was like, No, no, I'll run with you. So then she got and started running with me in her like flats, I think. And we finished the rest of the workout with her running with me. And I. I never had that kind of encouragement well, I had from my parents, but like from an outside source, I never had that kind of encouragement before someone that believed in me so much that they would, they would go out of their way to experience the same thing that I was. That was incredible to me. Um, in what ways being part of girls on the run encouraged my life? Well, I loved that girls on the run focuses so much on joy. That was my favorite, favorite thing about the program was the, the stress on having a joyous look on things instead of a negative look, um, a negative outlook. And I remember specifically, this ties in with the favorite um, lesson, is I remember so vividly the negative cord, pulling out the negative cord and plugging, plug, plugging in the sparkly cord. And um, that that notion as I was younger didn't really, st I mean, it stuck with me. Like I was very, you have to be positive, but it didn't really stick until um, last year when I had to write a speech for there was a Girls on the Run tea um, day and I wrote a speech for it and um, I was asked to talk about Girls on the Run and how it influenced me and I thought uh, immediately back to the negative chord and how that that is something that I had stuck with and that was something that was rain true for me to look at the positive things and um I looked at it and I was like oh it did really it has really helped me in order to think about something positive thinking in the positive light um and I didn't really think anything really of it um just that this was something that was important to me of this positive chord and then um late last year one of my best friend's sisters like died she passed away and um it was really hard. It was really hard on me because I'd never dealt with anything like that before. And it was, it was terrible and I, it was awful. And I remember thinking back to the, um, the sparkly cord. And, um, I remember thinking about, okay, well, 
this is awful, but how can I look at this in a way that's more joyous and think about not the terrible things that happened, um, but how can I think about plugging in that sparkly cord and thinking about, I guess, all the joy of her life and everything that she accomplished and that that completely changed every everything that I thought about. Um, and it, it really helped me to start to look towards my senior year and the stress of college and um, everything in a positive way. So I strive so hard to make sure that I'm not focusing in on the negative, I'm focusing in on the positive and that there are so many things that can go wrong, but your outlook is the thing that really changes how you deal with everything. And and that I wouldn't have learned without Girls on the Run and I wouldn't be the person that I am today. And I, I definitely don't know how I would have gotten through her death without that idea of positivity and that idea of um, thinking towards things not with this terrible sludge, but with some sparkle and happiness. And I thank Girls on the Run for that every day. Um, thank you so much for asking me to be a part of this. Um, it's great. Thanks. Bye.